Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to talk about the case of purulent erosions on glans penis after application of acriderm and triderm. We often have men coming to us after a long-term use of such creams. They are mainly prescribed by doctors of dermatoneurologic dispensary as in our case. In some cases patients prescribe them on their own, by the internet or by recommendations of people they know. In this case, balanopostite is developed in the patient as it happens classically. At first he was set a diagnosis of fungus on penis and they gave him, gave him fluconazole in dermatoneurologic dispensary. Then after seeing that it doesn't resolve, they prescribed him triderm cream for a long time, then acriderm. As a result of that, such purulent erosions developed. No analysis were done for him. Here we have iatrogeny, as it is called in medicine. What is iatrogeny? This is a case when there was just a reddening of glans penis, but with efforts of doctors and the patient, a purulent erosion was done, which already causes more pain and troubles than the initial disease. It's no doubt that initially analysis for bacteria should have been taken, as well as analysis for fungi, etc. In this case, secondary to application of medications and appearance of purulent deposits, there is no sense in using antifungal medications, as clotrimazole is included into such medications, into these creams. In some cases, it makes sense to have a look at bacterial contact of this past, but often only potentially pathogenic causative agents develop there, in low concentrations, as gentamicin is included there. It suppresses the concentrations of majority of bacteria. However, it doesn't eliminate them, and mechanisms of such purulent erosion development are as follows. First of all, this is a creation of water buff between the cream, most commonly an ointment, and the skin, when the vaporized liquid begins to macerate and to induce such erosion. Second thing is a decrease of immune reaction. That is, roughly speaking, a defense against potentially pathogenic bacteria and fungi, as hormones suppress such defense. Skin on glans penis is quite thin, and therefore we often see such erosions. This case is not the worst one. What needs to be done in such cases? Sodium thiosulfate has to be prescribed intravenously, as well as calcium gluconate, antihistamine medications. Glucocorticosteroid creams have to be cancelled. In this case, these magic prescriptions of medications by type of Elidel do not work very well, because Elidel shows itself not so well on the penis. Therefore, the creams like Radevit, Vedestin have to be used. Compresses and buffs have to be done. Now we are trying Neotanin. We also try retinoids during such situations as they dry off, etc. So it would be good if departments of universities, apart from talking about biological medications that have to be sold, would do a common treatment of patients. It would be good if they develop a scheme of treatment of erosive, chronic cases of balanopostitis, if they develop and use already existing old medications. This would have been more beneficial for the patients rather than the sale of medications, but unfortunately we cannot change such reality, and I have to do it on my own or with my colleagues who are not research scientists. On the other hand, it's good that dispensaries provide such patients. Internet provides such patients in large numbers. However, as of today, there are no clearly bound schemes of treatment apart from the ones I already mentioned. Later on, culture tests, scrapings for fungi should be taken, etc. after enough time is gone and we, after we cancel the external medications containing not only hormone, but antibiotic as well as antifungal medication, etc. That is, after we touch the ground of such balanopostitis. So please remember that before prescribing anything, even if some ointment is prescribed without any analysis, as it usually happens and if doesn't help within a week, then you should cancel this ointment, wait at least 5-7 days and then do a complex of at least minimal analysis which would help or at least try to find out a cause. I'm not saying that it's possible to find the cause of balanopostitis in every case, unfortunately it's not the case, but if you don't try doing it and only advertise medications, then it's no doubt that it's quite difficult to get any positive effect in this direction, and it's even impossible. If it's necessary to diagnose and treat chronic balanopostitis, 
particularly after a long-term use of different hormonal medications, you can consult dermatoneurologists and urologists of our paid medical center of dermatoneurologic dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.